Hey, everybody. Uh, I got some good news and I got some bad news. Which which one do you want first? Well, I can't hear you. So I'm going to go with the bad news first because don't worry, there's good news coming. Uh, the bad news is that Inventory Lab had to remove the link to the Keepa graphs for the items um, on, uh, that you're trying to sell on Amazon, that you're wanting to sell on Amazon. And Keepa is, you know, it, it's against Amazon's terms of services for third-party services like Inventory Lab to use other third-party services that collect it, d information from Amazon. And so because of, uh, you know, Amazon's terms of services, uh, Inventory Lab had to remove the Keepa links to be able to look at the Keepa graphs uh, within Inventory Lab. So that's the bad news, but I told you there was good news. This is good news. Uh, Inventory Lab has created a brand new feature called the Custom ASIN link. And uh, it's within uh, Inventory Lab when you're listing, uh, when you're looking at Scout in Inventory Lab, and within Scoutify, uh, you can have uh, this Custom ASIN link that you can create a certain link to a certain website, I don't know, maybe maybe Keepa, uh, that Inventory Lab will replace the ASIN in that link which with, which, with whichever ASIN you happen to be looking at on, uh, on Inventory Lab when you're listing or when you're outsourcing with Scatify and you want to see a, a, keep a, la a keep a graph. So, you know, hey, these might be related, these might not be related, but there is now an opportunity for you to see a Keepa graph within Inventory Lab, within Scout, within Scoutify. And uh, so I'm going to walk you through that on my computer, on my desktop, to show you just how easy it is to create that link. All right, here we are in Inventory Lab, and I will show you how to create your custom ASIN search links. It's really super simple. All I need to do is come over into your account and check out your settings, so click there. Next, you're going to want to look at the list on the left side of the screen and click Custom ASIN Shortcuts. So say you want to add a Keepa link to the, your shortcuts for Scout, Scoutify, uh, while you're listing, uh, because you know Keepa is no longer allowed by the Terms of Services to be in this link. But hey, if you want to add it yourself, you can do that. All right, so you scroll down and you have two opportunities to create your own custom link. So you copy this URL into this section. I will put this URL in the show notes. I'll even put it on the screen so you can see what it looks like since it's not gonna be able to fit all the way. Since you're not gonna be able to see all the way inside this box here, but this is the URL that is placed in there, including the ASIN. Now, it doesn't matter which ASIN that you're using, uh, but you use this Keepa link to tell Inventory Lab what to do and where to go for a particular ASIN. So I'm going to call mine Keepa. I want my display icon to just be the letter K. I want it in List, in Scout, and Scoutify. And then I click Create. So now uh, this little URL was updated and you can see that it now has this ASIN here so that this ASIN can always be replaced. So now if we're wanting to go and see this in action, let's go take a look at the list page and I will show you that in action. So I go to list, list and prep. All right, so let's try to add something to a batch. And now we can see that the Keepa link is now right here and I can click on this in order to automatically open up the Keepa graph for this particular item. So. Keep is back. You can also click the little plus sign to be able to add another custom ASIN link uh, to get that taken care of for whatever else you want. There are a lot of different possibilities and ideas. You can be creative on how to use ASIN links with uh, any type of product research that you want to do. But I miss Keepa and want to have a Keepa graph available to me at all times when I'm outsourcing, when I am listing, and this keep a graph um, is now back in Inventory Lab where it belongs. All right, now you know how to create a link to whichever website, to whichever ASIN you are wanting to look at and, uh, and, and be able to research that particular ASIN. You can do it with Keepa. You can do it with other uh, uh, websites that are out there that uh, you know use uh, particular ASINs to get information about it. So, um, so the, the door is wide open of the possibilities. Um, if you're not using Inventory Lab, why not? Because 
seriously, Inventory Lab is the absolute best tool when it comes to listing inventory, when it comes to sourcing and scouting inventory to sell on Amazon. I It saves so much time when it comes to listing stuff on Amazon, and it helps me give all the information I need to correctly make the right sourcing decision when I'm out sourcing retail arbitrage, uh, when I'm looking at stuff for you, online arbitrage, when I'm doing wholesale. Uh, Inventory Lab helps me make better decisions. And you can get it for a free month, uh, fulltimefba.com forward slash inventory lab uh, to get it access to Inventory Lab and Scoutify their sourcing app for free for a month. So go check it out and go create those little custom ASIN links uh, within Inventory Lab and they can show up in Scoutify too. And it will really, it will, it, it will be awesome once again having Keepa back in integrated with Inventory Lab because it's a link, a custom link that we've come up with, not something that, uh, you know, Inventory Lab has come up with because that would be against terms of services. But we can now be able to have those linked together. So that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching this video. Uh, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming video tips and tricks. And for everything, FullTimeFBA.com. Go and subscribe to our blog. Uh, that's where all the best stuff happens and uh, where everything happens. And you'll be able to get you know free tips for tricks, video walkthroughs, uh, coupon codes for books and courses, free books and courses that we release from time to time, um, and also lots of really good free downloads that will help you take those part-time hours, turn them into a full-time income with Amazon FBA. Well, that's it for today. God bless everybody. Take care. Bye.